Welcome back to our next tutorial in Photoshop, where we'll go over how to do a double exposure effect. A double exposure effect is how we'll blend two images together to make an interesting art project pop. Perhaps your client or project will want you to create some striking images here, or, and doing so through Photoshop, you will definitely wow the viewer of this image. Starting out, let's pick two images that we want to blend together. Here I'll blend an image of a beach ball with an orange. The idea of playing volleyball with a giant orange is pretty hilarious, don't you think? To start blending these two images together, I'll take the image of the orange, use the quick selection tool, and select the whole orange. Once I'll do that, I'll copy the orange selection into the image of the volleyball. As you can see here, the orange is way too large to be able to be blended with the volleyball. I'll need to scale the orange down to size. To do this, we'll need to make a copy of the volleyball layer to start off with. Drag the layer and make sure it's the top layer over the orange. Set the opacity to about 50%. Then we'll shrink the orange to about the same size of the volleyball. Do this by clicking the link icon up near the width and height. This way, with the opacity, we can see exactly what size we need the orange at. Apply the transformation when done. Next, we'll create a layer mask by clicking on the orange. Control click the image to select all, then move to the volleyball layer, and click the new mask button at the bottom. Once we have that mask, we'll make a copy of the orange layer, and then make a black mask of that layer by holding the Alt key and clicking new mask. Using the quick selection tool, we can select the parts of the volleyball we want to erase. Once we've gotten the image the way we want, you can see that it has this great dual blend effect of having a volleyball that looks like a huge orange. Make sure to leave on the background for the largest effect of showing off the volleyball orange in the scene. Now you know how to use layer masks to blend two images together.